The smoke grenade and thermal combo is slowly becoming the new meta in Modern Warfare 2. However, an even more distracting form of smoke is available, and for some reason it's rarely used. The smoke airdrop field upgrade provides effects similar to the smoke grenade and on a much grander scale. In today's video, I'll reveal exactly how the smoke airdrop works, how it interacts with thermal optics, as well as some helpful tips, including a super powerful, possibly unintended awareness benefit, which when used in the right situation, makes the smoke airdrop one of the best field upgrades in Modern Warfare 2. The in-game description tells us that the smoke airdrop allows us to call in a line of drones to deploy a smoke wall at a targeted location. The default charge time is 3 minutes and 10 seconds, but can be greatly reduced by getting kills and earning score. We'll begin by discussing the smoke airdrop's basic functionality. Once a target area has been selected, there will be a short delay of about 3 seconds, after which four quadcopter drones will emerge and deploy a wall of dense smoke. The wall of smoke is quite large, spanning 60 meters across with a depth of about 15 meters. The visually obscuring effect of the smoke airdrop is similar to the smoke grenade, however the smoke airdrop is superior in every way. Not only is the smoke airdrop significantly larger, but the smoke is much more dense, and the smoke cloud will last much longer, obscuring visibility for a full 20 seconds before dissipating. The wall of smoke produced by the smoke airdrop is completely opaque and is impossible to see through with standard optics. As you can see here, even the orange enemy reveal diamond will completely disappear once the smoke reaches its full level of opacity. This is actually a significant benefit, as the enemy reveal diamond will normally give away your position even through explosive debris. Unfortunately, the smoke airdrop's visually obscuring effects have no impact on AI-controlled killstreaks. As you can see here, both the Overwatch Hilo as well as the VTOL are unaffected by the wall of smoke, and you'll be immediately gunned down once either of these aircraft obtain a direct line of sight, even if you're fully obscured by the smoke airdrop. Even the sentry turret with its lower vantage point is able to see through the wall of smoke, and without some form of hard cover, you'll be unable to avoid the sentry's laser scanner. This is an unusual behavior because even the smoke grenade, which provides a smaller, less dense form of visual cover, offers protection from the sentry turret as well as the AI-controlled airborne streaks. Of course, deploying a wall of dense smoke doesn't make much sense, unless you're planning on running a thermal optic to see through it. The array of thermals available in Modern Warfare 2 provide mixed results against the smoke airdrop, which we can observe by viewing two enemies, and the one on the right will always have cold-blooded equipped. The sepia blue tinted scopes provide poor results against the smoke airdrop. The Schlager Night View provides much better visibility than the Heat Source 800. However, cold blooded enemies are completely invisible using either scope. The Sepia Amber Scopes are a slightly better choice, and even though there is a very low level of contrast, both scopes will allow enemies to be visible even when they have cold blooded equipped. The monochrome thermal palettes have average results. However, the Black Hot VX350 thermal optic does provide a slightly better contrast against cold-blooded enemies than the White Hot Corio SZ HS800. The only Arctic thermal palette scope in the game, the Teplo OP3, provides excellent contrast on enemies without cold-blooded, however, enemies with cold-blooded equipped will be completely invisible. The Drexom Prime 90, which uses the Iron Bow Thermal Palette, clearly comes out on top, providing perfect levels of contrast. Even enemies with cold-blooded equipped will be perfectly visible through the smoke airdrop. To be completely thorough, we'll take a look at the 3X RFL optic, 
which doesn't rely on heat but rather amplifies existing light levels to improve visibility. Unfortunately, this optic provides no visibility whatsoever through the smoke airdrop. The smoke airdrop can be a useful tool for many reasons, but its primary benefit is causing a distraction and general chaos. Obscuring long lines of sight for a full 20 seconds will often lead to enemy frustration, forcing them to make mistakes as they alter their playstyle to accommodate the reduced visibility. Another interesting way to use the smoke airdrop is to completely obscure a laneway to create confusion and give your team a chance to secure an objective. A perfect place for this is on the map Mercado Las Almas. Placing your smoke airdrop down the center lane will offer amazing visual cover and will often lead to an easy capture of the B flag. Interestingly, one of the most beneficial features of the smoke airdrop isn't actually the smoke, but rather using the smoke airdrop's deployment tablet as an awareness tool. As you can see here, every time you call in the smoke airdrop streak, you'll get a free radar ping revealing all enemy positions on the entire map. Complete map awareness from a field upgrade which can be earned passively without even earning any kills can be a game changer, especially on awareness sensitive game modes such as search and destroy. Simply save your smoke airdrop for a critical time such as a 1v1 situation and you won't even need to deploy the smoke. Just bring up the tablet to display the enemy then cancel the deployment and secure your kill. It is worth noting, however, that the smoke airdrop's radar ping is hard countered by the cold-blooded perk, which will prevent cold-blooded enemies from appearing on the airdrop's tablet computer. The smoke airdrop is a unique and interesting field upgrade and a nice change of pace from the standard dead silence and munitions crates that are insanely popular. However, the fact that it doesn't protect against AI killstreaks limits its potential. Buffing the smoke airdrop to fully protect against AI streaks, along with a significant reduction to its charge rate, would probably be just enough to make it viable and compete with the other more popular field upgrades. Of course, this is all just my opinion, and now I'd like to hear from you guys. Is the smoke airdrop fair and balanced as is, or does it need a change? Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.